it's still the 19th here. I'm uh, doing those wide drops. It takes more than a person would think to get this thing rolling. You guys can look forward for a little, a little while here. Going around the headlands, uh, you can, that's why the corn's kind of tough on the right side here. It's kind of down by a slope.
bit in the back until you get them folded in a little ways here. I'm trying to be as great and gentle, but these toggle switches are not allowing me to be gentle. I'm trying to fold in nice and gently, but there is a little bit of weight out there. Actually looks like yeah, down to the four, four or twenty-five gallons if it's not slosh somewhere in there. So I think it's somewhere. I don't think I got across all sixty-five acres. I think I got across something about. Oh, I think I got across about at least fifty-five of it. So I think I probably put on about eighteen gallons an acre. We were aiming for. GPS, you can see this is where I set in. Uh, that's why it's goofy there, but uh, you know the building site, obviously right in front of us. That swooshes out. There's a little bit of the field there, and uh, I got them babies locked in. And uh, you can see how wide it is. This thing is wide going down the road. And uh, here's your master on and off is what I'm toggling to turn it on. Boom control. We got three sections. Remember that I only hooked them up to the middle section, so that's the only one we have on. I can increase my pressure uh, to increase the rate that we're putting down. Um, I'm done. Turn that off. Our broomstick we have holding this lever forward, that's so I can control. I don't need that on anymore. And we also don't need the pump on anymore. So, wires, we got rock picker wires, we got sprayer cables, we got GPS cables. Oh boy, so I think, uh, when did it stop sloshing finally? Yeah, 430 gallons left or so. Maybe you guys can see that or not. And, uh, so probably right around 1,000 gallons we put down on 55 acres. Do the math here. Some of you math nuts probably already know. 18.1, so. I think that GPS counter is a little off. Oh, here, it went all goofy on us now, but it does say 54.8. It did right before I pulled you guys out. Um, yeah, so it's, it went well. The tractor's been running well since we changed the oil on the transmission, so can't complain there. A um, little rough folding up, but uh, I thought you'd fold in and then set the whole boom down. Obviously, I figured out that it makes the boom kind of rock back, and you can see there's brackets that you don't want to collide, so you actually boom all the way up, and then you actually you actually tilt these down into their cradle, like that. So, I'm gonna hit the road. It is almost 6.30 in the evening on Monday the 19th. Uh, all the other fields are probably a little soupy, squishy. Uh, go home and eat and kind of hang out and probably the weather cooperates. This doesn't load sometimes for me. It just sits like this. If the weather cooperates this week is what I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, uh, we'll get at it. But no. What do we got? Cloudy skies, some morning rain. So maybe a chance of rain in the morning, Wednesday too. Great, this might be my only day of wide dropping. We shall see how the weather turns out because today it wasn't supposed to rain and then it did. So who knows, who knows. 
but uh, we're not able to do any of the other fields because of the rain today. Otherwise, I'd like to keep pushing tonight, but can't do it. So thanks for watching. Well, I went and uh, thought I was going to film the last field with you guys, but I just ran out. <clears throat> only like two acres three acres there so I doubt we'll even come back for it um, this is really just an added bonus that field's always wet and whatever so I'm sure there's a little bit of water it was a little greasier in this field it says I just did 26.8 acres and I ran out on uh, like 450 gallons or so um, I did bump it up so I wonder what that is because I don't know this might be a little shy but it's probably pretty close I had 450 gallons by 27 acres. Yeah, I was a little light on this. I think I might have ran out a little sooner. It's hard to tell. I don't know. Let's see what you guys can see. It's hard to see with the the tank on the tongue in the way. You can't tell. Um, I suppose my rate. I wasn't paying a whole lot. It is a little muddy in the back back corner there. So I might have been a little light. Uh, well, I know I wasn't light. I actually bumped it up a little bit. I think I just uh, ran out before I noticed. So let's see here. Can't quite pick them up. So you get. Let's see here. Oh, I suppose I gotta put my uh, handy dandy broomstick back in. I don't pick it up. Yeah, that'll help. It helps to have hydraulics. Weird, huh? Weird. So, folding up, I'm going to run back to the farm, it's probably close to 8 o'clock now, and uh, right where I'm at, where it's kind of greasy, but I made it across without making any ruts, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of where, I'm kind of where, you know, the line was, so if we try to do any more uh, tonight, we're going to be in that greasy, really wet stuff where water was running. I don't think we're going to do any more tonight.